Hi there, I'm Victoria and I'm going to show you very simply how to uh, set up a new WordPress blog on PowerWeb. I'm using PowerWeb because that's the server I use and I have been with PowerWeb now for at least 10 years and uh, I couldn't recommend them more highly. So the first thing we need to do before we uh, install our blog is that we need to have a folder to put it in. Now the great thing about PowerWeb and a lot of these um, hosting services anywhere is that you can install as many blogs as you like and in fact I've got quite a number in here already and I'm going to take you into my file manager in under the website section if you go to file manager uh, I'll show you exactly how many I do have I use this service for an enormous amount of um, file transfers and all sorts of other things so there's more on here than just my blogs but in my htdocs section which is where I keep all of my blogs if I click on that and just scroll down here. I'll just expand this a little bit so you can have a little bit more of a look. Every one of these folders that you see right down here are all websites and they're all contained on this one hosting package which has unlimited space so it's really very simple and easy to do. Now all I need to do to create uh, a new website is to have a domain name registered which I can do with PowerWeb as well and also to create a folder to put it in and I'm going to put it in here in my htdocs. So I'm going to click on that, it'll close that um, folders up and I'm going to create a new folder. So I go up the top here to new directory and I call it whatever I'm going to call it. So I'm going to use one of my domains which happens to be pint size cooking. Once that's been created inside my htdocs uh, I can then go and actually point my domain to that. So what we're going to do now is go up to the domains and we're going to come down to Domain Pointing Manager and we're going to find Pint Size Cooking. PintSizeCooking.com, it's parked at the moment, so what we're going to do is we are going to point it to a subdirectory and that subdirectory is in our htdocs folder and it's called Pint Size Cooking and Save the Settings and as you can see the domain point is updated now. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to install the blog. So we go up to our scripting and add-ons and we come down to install central. And in here as you can see there's all of my blogs, all of my websites. And we've got a number of different things that we can choose from here that PowerWeb provide free of charge that you can install. So we're going to go to blogs. And as you can see these are all blogs, they're all WordPress blogs. I work with WordPress, it's very very easy to work with and uh, very easy to get plugins to do all sorts of different things. You do need to have a little bit of HTML and programming knowledge but trust me it's not difficult and I'm going to be able to show you uh, a lot of that quite easily through this website. Now we're going to click into WordPress because that's the one we're going to install. We're going to come down and begin installation. Now we need to fill in some, uh, some fields here. We're going to give this blog a title so we're going to call it Pint Size Cooking. You can choose any new username and I usually choose my username as the name of the blog. I usually have the same, um, a similar password for each of them with just a few letters that are different. And we need an admin email so I'll just put one of my Gmail accounts in there. Now we're going to choose the domain that we want associated with this particular blog. So we're going to come down to pintsizecooking.com over in the installation directory we're not going to put anything in there because it's going to automatically for us and we're going to click yes install to this directory even if the directory already exists now we're going to need a database with this you can tell it to create a database for you automatically personally I don't do that and the reason I don't is because it creates a really weird name and, or a number and I find it hard to track it if I need to go back to it later so what I do is I come down here and I add a new database and I can call it whatever I want so I'm going to call mine Pint Size Cooking. You don't have to put capitals in between your words if you don't want to. The database user is Pint Size Cooking also. And the password, I use exactly the same password as I've just put in for my blog itself. It makes it a lot easier. And then I'm going to go Install Now. And it will come up and say that WordPress has installed successfully. And if we were to click on the domain just here, now, there you go. You've got a website instant that's how quick it is now of course we don't want it to look like this because it's pretty daggy really and there's a whole host of things that we're going to do to it to make it look pretty swish but all you need to know for now is exactly what we've just done and that is how to install it so that's our first video thank you very much for watching I hope uh, that was helpful if you don't already have your account set up 
then go to powweb.com, that's P-O-W-W-E-B.com, and set up your um, account, and then install your blog, and the next video will show you what to do next. If you have a problem with any of that, uh, I can certainly help you with that. Just give me a call or email me, and I'll be happy to go and set up your account and set up your blog and install it for you if you are a little afraid to do that. Thanks for watching. This is Victoria. I'll look forward to talking to you soon.